What's up, Robin Panda 65 here, and we're back to playing some Minecraft. Um, haven't played this since I recorded my previous episode, and um, wow, oh, well, yeah. You can see why now running the Philosopher's Stone at full charge does not help. Um, so I just need to turn all of this back into dirt. So yeah, um, sometimes um, running the Philosopher's Stone at full blast is a good thing, sometimes it's bad. Uh, good charge a bit, so there we go, it's a bit better. Oh my god. And t notch. <coughs> okay. And so to charge up is to press V to charge um, down. It's to press Shift and V. So that's handy. Uh huh. I'll just finish this, and then we can do what I want to do this episode. It does have some sort of um, time, as in the uh, it requires a short time before you can use it again. You can't just continue to do it. You gotta wait a couple of seconds, but that doesn't really matter. But philosopher stone just makes it so easy. Wow, jeez, that's a lot of cobblestone I've changed. Okay, I think that's about finished. I think I could just do, uh, do that. I uh, don't want that. Yeah, yeah so it changes to sand, which is quite annoying. Um, and that looks it, really. These cobblestone, I don't know, but that's easily remedied. There we go, finally, we're done. Now we can move on to what I actually really wanted to do this episode, which was to finish the map. Uh, why is that still there? I have TMI on in my other world, which I do like experimenting and stuff. But so you can see here, we've done pretty much the bottom right section of the map yeah. right. uh, can I get that one beneath there? nah um, let's see what how we're doing okay we've got some Mobius fuel which is the second best type of fuel but um, we'll just leave it in there for now cooked chicken can go in there food um, we're running out of bread <laughs> Which is something that shouldn't really happen, but we've got 47 wheat anyway. Um, sand, wool, gunpowder, hot flesh, da da da. And that's pretty much all we need. Okay, time to go back to do some more journeying and etc. And we'll just, for the heck of it, kill this chicken. Uh, animal cruelty for the win. Nah, no, not really. Okay, so this way we can start focusing into that desert. Um, I know the uh, what what's it? The NPC village is over there. Um, oh. Come on, let's go. Yeah, see, when the world's generating, I get a bit of slight bit of lag. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa. What the hell? Um, what the hell just happened? Wow. <laughs> like, freaking Minecraft decided to freaking lag me there. Um, 
but yeah, so NPC village. Wow, I have never experienced that much lag in Minecraft ever before. It's still lagging but quite a bit, but uh, who cares? I'll deal with it. Ah, it's okay. No, it's not getting dark. Don't know why I thought it was getting dark here. Yeah, now we've got some sheep here, which is cool and everything. Not gonna kill them, that would be a bit sly. Um, but I don't have any shears either. So, mm. they can just stay where they are. Okay. Um, so, you can see the MPV C village if we were to go this way. So, um, I might spend this episode and the next episode just filling up this whole map just to give it a sense of idea of where, like, where I am in terms of in the world and then I need to go to the nether oh hi villager um, I need to go to the nether eventually and wow what the hell um, let's see is there anything that actually catches my eye nope just a heck load of sheep but so uh, just a random lava pool there. Um, but okay. We'll see what this has anything to do with anything. Is it just a random lava pool with? Yes, it is. Great. Um, <coughs> but okay. So piggies, yay! Sh should have bought some wheat. Keep forgetting to though. Because I'm too lazy like that. Wow, quite a few number of sheep. Um, okay, that leads into nowhere. There's for some reason they're just like always like, like some random flowing, floating block like um, blocks. Like there, you can see it's just like random four blocks flowing. Um, there's some shadow fails. I don't know why that happens. But, yeah, see? Well, um, so there's just random freaking floating blocks up in the sky. Um, there's some um, fail shadow fails. Easy way to fix it. Just put a torch there. And I'm just literally taking in whatever I can find, really. Yeah, more piggies. Um, yeah, what the heck? We'll go this way. Jesus Christ. Let's see if there's anything. Keep my eyes peeled for mobs. No. Looks like a relatively short um tunnel. Not gonna bother going in there. That'll be a waste of time. Waste of my time. Um, now uh I should have wrote down my coordinates of where my house was, but I've got a map so that shouldn't really matter. Oh, that looks pretty interesting. Let's go check that out. Yeah, some more cows. Let's eat. Um, wow, my pickaxe is getting really damaged. Don't know why I've um, used that much on my pickaxe. Oh, this looks pretty interesting. Sort of like... Oh, water fountain. Lots of cows. Insane amount of cows. Um, yeah. Um, I think this is like a... Tundra biome, I'm not sure, I don't really know, but cows, um, lots of cows in fact, generally means that, um, so some, basically what I'm trying to say is some biomes have more anim ty animal types than others, uh, and I know it's getting dark, but nothing I can do. Um, I just have to fight off the mobs if I can. Actually, you know what would be good though is if I can get some ender pearls because um, you'll need them eventually for the eye of ender. But I did. Um, if you did watch the last episode, I told you the plan of going to kill the end dragon at um, fifty, at episode fifty, uh, which is what I'm going to do. But um, I s might as well try start as soon as possible getting everything ready, which is why I want to go to the Nether some uh, 
in like about two or three episodes time. Die, freaking die. Whoa, great. Oh well. Easy way to fix damage. Oh yeah, and um, there's also a fi uh, sound for equipment exchange now. Um, the reason why it wasn't there wasn't any sounds last episode was because I delete accidentally. I say accidentally deleted the music files in my resources folder. Fail. It's either that or if I got or I forgot to put it in. But I think it was because um, I deleted them. Cool. Get owned. Okay, which way am I meant to be heading? Sort of that way-ish. Another snow biome. Is that the same one? No, it isn't. It's a different one. Cool. Oh, there's lots of mobs out there. So... Can I get away? Yeah, mobs in this game aren't very smart. Especially when you have diamond armor. They can literally... like You, you literally can't die. And with diamond armor, you um, um, can't get damaged by the ender dragon. Um, those who don't know, the ender dragon can't harm you if you have diamond armor. So, in some ways, it's quite overpowered. But then again, diamonds are pretty rare. But then again, I have a color of exchange and a divining rod. So, not very rare. Well, it's still rare, but <laughs> makes finding them so easy. Uh, center of the map is where my house is. Maybe next time I'll actually keep, uh, like, find out the coordinates of this. Um, just because it saves me a lot of bother. Okay, the center of the map is that way now. I think I am just getting lost. Um, but if I know it, I like how um, it's right in a river. That'll be good for in future. Where if I want to like take a random boat somewhere, a boat into the journey to the Minecraft world. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I like how this ma um, river just goes straight through like um, my house sort of so if I want to uh, Make a port or anything that'd be pretty good But that's not part of survival that's creative um, And um, ja Jamie uh, one of the other people one of my friends who actively works for the clan you can see him in Nazi Zombies does something um, creative survival which he gets items create um, for, legitly through survival but then he builds like creative things um, uh, I don't know what it makes it so different from normal survival but there you go it's creative survival apparently um, so with diamond armor you literally take one bar of damage um, like on normal difficulty, which is uh, uh, not a lot, to be quite honest. Okay, so it's somewhere here. Just it's somewhere along the river. That's all I can say. Um, actually, this might actually be spawn. Actually, I sort of remember this place as being spawn. Um, yeah, I can. I think I spawned somewhere around here. I'm not sure. Might be. Uh, oh god, creeper. Yeah, I can definitely remember, like, the first... Jesus, no. Oh god. Wow, creeper didn't even damage me. Uh, see, I'm not afraid of you, zombies. Or spider. Yeah, that freaking... That just left a huge freaking gigantic mark. Great. I'll take the dirt. I don't really care. 
Ah, uh, um, where? Ah, uh, help! Getting attacked by a spider. Oh wow! I need to find my freaking house fast. There it is. So yeah, follow my. Um, that's the good thing. Like, all I have to do is like follow the river up, um, and I'll be able to find my house easily. No problem whatsoever. Wow, you can just see creeper holes all over the goddamn place. Uh, where is it? There it is. And the mobs are still following me. That's great. Thank you, mobs, for following me. Sort of like the paparazzi. <laughs> they always follow you. Um, okay, there. So they started burning up. Now, I'm really curious as to what's upriver. So we visited literally the bottom, apart from the bottom left thing. Um, the, but we haven't really visited the top yet. And so, I think that's what we're going to do. Or what we should do. Um, the top is that way, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I know for a fact I haven't went that way. Like, oh, I should get some uh, freaking food just in case uh, don't need the crafting table anymore oh fail why would I want to open the door when I have a pressure pad beats me but I did so, so exactly um, let's see no even though it's daytime with all these trees there's still gonna be mobs around so just be wary of that and because of all the uh, freaking places that are freaking loading all the chunks, yeah, the word is for them is chunks. Um, it's lagging quite a bit, but it's understandable. There, there's a dog. Oh my god! Actually, you know what? Because we've got conveniently got some bones. Um, I don't like fl uh, flowing water like that. So here's what you could do. And turn it into sand. Look, there's a doggy. Okay, ready to be tamed, dog? Eh? Yeah. Aww, we now have a dog. Yay! A dog into with our adventures. So I hope it follows me. Uh, I don't know why I swapped it out for a map, though. My map out for it. So, better not get, like, freaking frapped or anything. Or else I'll be quite pissed. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? Um, I, the dog was behind me, and it just suddenly came in front of me. That makes sense. Mhm. Mm um, on the other hand, um, stop barking. Freaking out. Wow, what the hell is this? Just a. That looks actually pretty nice, actually. That looked really natural. Um, just a gigantic pool. Like, if you like blocked all the water out you get like a perfect like sort of size crater um so yeah the world is generating as we speak wow that could just like lead into a gigantic ocean wow you how the hell did you get wet yeah um but um wow flipping heck don't just don't do what i do seriously he just like got injured from jumping up and jump jumping down and falling uh, I think it that particularly interests me like I could just like freaking be a whole goddamn ocean ocean oh no I could see like an island there um but um wow what the hell flipping out uh, Recording at 60 frames a second and it's like hardly 60 frames a second. Strange. Still follow me? Cool. Um, but, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, I want to talk about Minecraft 1.2. Um, stop, why does it keep teleporting? I don't know. Um, Minecraft 1.2, um, well, as you all know, is going to be the next major update. And it's got some pretty nice features in it. Um, 
and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, in my guess, it'll probably be released um, either right towards the end of um, February, somewhere like the 30th, or up to the 10th of March, it would be my guess of when it's going to be released. And um, pretty neat, neat, uh, neat features like zombies knock, knocking down doors and stuff. Nice. Um, but that's only on hard, and I'm playing on normal. So uh, we might change it up to hard. But then again, I don't really want zombies freaking knocking down my door. Uh, we sort of reached like an island now. now. Like a group of islands, and there's just like a gigantic ocean there. Um, that's not a very good north, is it? Like I'm heading north, and the half of it is just gigantic ocean. I know, so jungle biome, finally a different biome. I mean, it's sort of like once you play a lot, you can. It's getting quite predictable. Uh, what biomes are gonna be where? There's some coal. Um, wow. It's just a freaking gigantic freaking river. Um, no, sea. So we've reached like a seaside. Um, but yeah, this looks like a pretty good ending point. I'll just get. Hold on. F8 apparently slows it down. Wow, that's pretty slow. Yeah, so. Nice pan of the surroundings. Okay. And uh, we'll end it there. So, peace.